afternoon, so I just finally got to lie down in my bed. I've been up all morning. Uh, we, uh, basically, uh, we made this whole entire thing where these girls can come over and do their Easter egg hunt, kind of like normal Sundays and everything. So we kind of tried to make it as normal for them as possible, except we made a whole entire thing about keeping our distance. Um, in addition to that, um, huh, let's let in some beautiful light. Um, in addition to that, they, uh, I made this joke where I decided, you know, I should set up some stuff for their parents. So, what I did is I took a few <laughs> rounds of toilet paper, put them into plastic baggies, tied it with the uh, balloons with helium that we bought for my birthday, <laughs> and uh, tied it to the bag. And uh, we told everyone that the pink balloons that were floating were for the parents. And uh, when they opened it up, it was, it was really funny. Uh, so I was laughing really hard. Anyways, so it's been a lot to handle in terms of what's happening today and who's been dealing with what. Uh, we had this really cool thing where uh, one of our neighbors, uh, like, family decided to draw like bunny, uh, bunny paws like all over the place and act like the bunny just like came and in and at the end of the street there was a sign that says happy Easter, insert the video here please. Okay good, um, yeah, it's, um, it was very, uh, funny because, uh, the bunny had a mask on and, um, you know, that's the way the bacon rolls. Um, as you saw, I made tortellini uh, for dinner and I made also mozzarella stuff, uh, mozzarella with tomatoes and basil and um, oil and vinegar, uh, vinegar, balsamic vinaigrette mixed together. And I made like kind of like an Italian dinner for my Easter, which is a really weird combination. Uh, if we really think about it, but you know, it was delicious and I was very happy with the product. Um, anyways, so, you know, I had a lot of tea today, you know, gotta love it. Uh, I haven't spent much time in my own room today. And so, um, yeah, uh, I've been, so my main thing for today is probably reading at least 50 pages of my Bridget Nelson book which I will show to you right now. Yeah, so the goal is to read at least 50 pages from this. Oh, this is a light bulb that my friend Laura got me. She's been commenting on the videos. Thank you, Laura, by the way. Um, she got me this for my dorm, and right now it's just eliminating the background for this. So it's really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited. I got this for my birthday from the two girls' mother. It's a very thick book. Let's see if I can finish 50 pages of it tonight. That's the goal. Light up one of my candles. And then, you know, kind of just enjoy the rest of the day. All right. So, um, let's get to this Easter day. <laughs> um, oh, I did have one quick thing to say to everyone. Um, so, I know that Easter is today, and it's strange to be in quarantine. So I found this Bible verse that reminds everyone that you should be staying in quarantine and washing your hands constantly. Uh, James 4, 8, come near to God or he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. So I must state that even the Bible says, wash your hands. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, anyways. Uh, yeah, let's go into that time lapse that I was talking about earlier. Uh. Okay, so everybody, so that was my uh, day. I only got the page. 41. Um, it's a really good book. Um, one of my favorite things out of the book that I think can apply to 
almost everybody, there's a whole entire page just full of quotes of things that she said. And my favorite thing is that she says is every performance is a premiere for the audience. And I think that that is the number one thing that every single performer ever in their whole entire lifetimes, if they've learned anything, that is the only thing that they should remember in any circumstance. And I can't believe that I'm saying this, but like, especially with people who are doing things that are songwriting, like it should be a premiere for every single performance that you make. And even if you are doing covers, it should be the same amount of energy that a person who has written their own song has done. Like it should be all the same in terms of the energy that is given out. So with that being said, I know school's been off the hook and everything, but I recommend for each and every single one of you during this one week break, if you have one, or if you had the week prior, or if you're just not in school at all, I recommend for you to go ahead and look at any book that you have. Like, go and read it, like, even if you don't even think that it's worth a dollop of your interest. At least you'll know that you don't like it. And from that you can learn, and learn what you do like. So, um, reading this, if you saw in the time lapse, I started a little bit of crying because it was just such an emotional and such an impactful book. And there's this um, thing that I've known about for a while, but it goes into more depth about what the Bridget Nielsen Prize is. And um, it's awarded to the people who have set their whole entire life on learning a craft and on doing everything. And the key criteria is working hard, being amendable, working as hard as possible on your craft to make it everything that you do a premiere for every single audience that you perform for. So I think with that being said, there's a lot in life that happens and it's difficult for some people to accept that and I know that there's a lot of things that people just don't understand. Um, I hope and I pray that everyone understands that there is so much in life that is amendable and appreciated. Today is the day that Jesus rose from the grave, which sounds a little weird, but it's very important to me and to other people. And while I love to learn about what you love and what you practice and what you enjoy, because I want to be as educated as you in terms of understanding other people's perspectives. So with that being said, stay safe, stay healthy, and drink your tea. Okay, bye.